We're here to test shooting setups that haven't been possible in virtual production, but we now know that with the advances of technology, with improvements in Unreal Engine, we've set up a series of scenarios that are going to test that and demonstrate how we can take it into next year. We got the chance to essentially shoot some of the greatest hits. So we've created five shoot days. We've done a different thing every day to really show the evolution of where we've got to now. The beauty about this wall is that it's big enough for us to do pretty much anything we want to do on it. And on top of that, we have a rotating stage, which enables us to do fast turnarounds. We can prep on one side of the stage and shoot on the other, or we can do reverse shots just by turning the stage. The first day, we shot an exterior scene in a cold forest where we were able to really get the sense of a true exterior. To get shots like we did, you'll be out freezing with all your crew overnight. If you don't get your shot, you need to come back the next day because, you know, we wanted the perfect shot where the sun is just dying. So you got 15 minutes if you're on location to shoot that shot. We shot it in 30, 40 minutes. And then the last two shots, we shot them in seven minutes each. Got So that's something that just doesn't happen on location. Day two was probably the biggest shot of the week. It was the Coliseum. <laughs> Often seems like this is shot on location, but we want to make it more convenient and push the fidelity and the freedom of what a shoot can be like on an LED stage like this. The screens are getting higher quality and the pitch of the bulbs is getting finer. So. We're shooting wide angle shots, which used to be like a no-no. Like you shoot long lenses, throw the screen out of focus. We've got the screen in focus. We've captured people as scans and then they've created cards. We have some clever lighting techniques and shader tricks that allowed us to light those flat cards as if they're 3D. This scene has 80,000 volumetric actors. 80,000 is a critical number that means you could fill any kind of football stadium, music stadium, anything that has a large crowd. And then one for one, have every single one of them doing their own animated movement was a first. Why don't you take me out in that boat of yours? We'll get a lovely view of the fireworks from the water. We went straight from an epic scene like the Colosseum to a really intimate scene. There's often period drama isn't considered for a big technical stage like this, but it's actually the perfect kind of scene. So what we did was show that something like glass or like a very fine sort of netting, for example, is very hard to clean up with green screen. But this we do all in camera. So you get the natural reflections, you get natural refraction of light, and that all bounces through the scene and it just gives a much more sort of natural look than you would get with green screen. You're really getting a sense that it's a true location that you're viewing. The prison scene is set in a Roman temple, but with really interesting lighting conditions. Because it's such an interesting location with very high ceilings, really interesting windows and pillars, it's the perfect location to test uh, advances in lighting. We did the first in-camera test of a bunch of new technology around rendering, where we rendered using core sticks and some new NVIDIA rendering technologies for the first time ever, and it really worked. The big thing with this is we're using our custom RTX build that's been made by our Unreal developers in Dimension. So it pretty much allows, you know, better ray tracing, real-time core sticks, lots more lumen lights because a big hold-up of current engines that you can have four lumen lights at a time. With this we can have like unlimited and we get proper refraction. It's really exciting because it's going to give a level of realism to our lighting that's never been seen before. So today is the bedrock of virtual production, the driving plate. We're shooting with a rain bar and a wind machine and we're capturing reflections in not just the car itself, but the raindrops, the wing mirrors, and having a wraparound stage like this really allows those things to shine and have a believability to them that you can't get anywhere else. We've done five completely different setups 
in five days intentionally because we were really looking at not only the visual quality of virtual production, but the efficiency of virtual production. If sci-fi was the first wave of virtual production where we needed to imagine impossible worlds on a screen like that, I think the second wave is really driven by being able to transport you to anywhere, anywhere through history, any kind of costume, any kind of place in a shooting environment that allows true performance and intimacy. It's a real game changer. And I think writers and producers are just sort of discovering now that they have sort of limitless options.